All right, hello third grade. Today for reading, we're gonna be talking about facts and opinions. So what's the difference between facts and opinions? Well, a fact is something that can, let me move up here. Hopefully you can still see me. So facts are something that can be proved. The month of July has more days than the month of June. That's a fact. It can be proved by looking at a calendar and counting the number of days in each month. But an opinion is something that a person believes, thinks, or feels. An opinion cannot be proved true. So if I were to say July is better is a better month than June for camping, that's how I feel about it. Someone else might say, I think June is a better month for camping than July. So that's not a fact. It's not something that can be proven, but it's something that some someone feels that way about it. So an example that we're going to go through here, and I know... Um, We've gone over this, I think, in social studies a while ago. So they're going to ask us which sentence is a fact. This is something that we could look up and we know that it's true. The First World War began in 1914 and ended in 1918. Well, I could look that up in a history book or online to see that that's when the war started. But the First World War was waged for stupid reasons. Well, that might be what someone else believes, but someone else could say, I think World War started for good reasons. There were smart reasons why the war started. So the first one can be proved by reading a book about the First World War, but the second states an opinion. Stupid shows what a person is believing or are they thinking or how they feel about it, and everyone could feel a different way. So now let's go through some examples together. So as I'm reading this, they're asking which sentence states the fact. So that's something that can be proven. Chicago's Willis Tower stands 1,450 feet tall, or the Willis Tower run, ruins the beauty of Chicago's downtown. Well, this is something that I can't argue with. That's the height of it. That doesn't change. But saying it ruins the beauty, other people would think something else. They could say it makes Chicago even more beautiful. So that would be the opinion. This is something we could read in a book, in a nonfiction book, but this wouldn't be nonfiction because that can change from person to person. All right, and let's do another one together. So they're asking us which sentence states a fact. The California gold rush began after gold was discovered in 1848, or people who moved to California for gold were greedy. So remember, a fact is something that can be proven. Well, if I look online, I know that the gold rush began in 18, after gold was discovered in 1848. That's a fact. I can't argue with that, and I couldn't change that sentence. But it says people who moved to California for gold were greedy. That's an opinion. That's what people thought. People, other people might thought they were moving to California to provide a better life for their family or to make an income. So it's different for everyone, their opinion on people who are moving to California. So remember, opinion is something that the way the person feels or the way they think about something, but a fact is something that is correct. It's nonfiction. It can't be changed. So take your time through each sentence and see, is it possible for you to change it? We couldn't change this sentence, but we could change this sentence by taking out the word greedy and adding a different one. So have fun, and I will see you next week. Bye, third grade.